EQs from the entire bracket. My job is done here. <laughs> yeah, seriously. We have, uh, <laughs> I've done everything that I need to do. So, yep. yeah. We're gonna. So now we, our first, our first top eight match here, we have a Celis versus Lamb. Lamb, we saw earlier playing, uh, what's that? Uh, against, I think, White Nova, was it? I believe so. Yes. Or no, Panther. Uh, no. Versus, what am I thinking? No, this is the first time we've seen Lamb in this bracket. Lamb playing a lot of Isabel and also playing a lot of Pichu, um, taking it over Panther to make it into top 16 and then getting the uh, the DQ over over Goku. So we, that is the that is Lamb's path here. Acellus uh, did get the win over White Nova um, in the Robin vs. Palutena matchup. So that is how we got here. Um, Pichu sitting sitting not with the percent lead is not a situation that Pichu wants to be at. Okay. Mm. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, Lamb? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we saw where they eventually wound up. So yes, the uh, yes. we'll leave the re we'll leave the rhetoricals for another time. Either way, it's going to be Acellus right now showing out in this top eight matchup. Lamb, uh, the beneficiary of uh, the first DQ on the part of Goku, so avoiding the Pichu Young Link matchup, but running into the Robin. This is a uh, an interesting proposition, but it's not like Pichu doesn't have the ability to zone break. No, certainly not. Um, and it's going to have to happen here. Another really, really super cheap um, edge, uh, edge guard attempt from uh, from Lamb. Mm. This in on the down smash. It was well shielded by Acellus, and it's going to be the forward air connecting. And that's going to take the second consecutive stock off of Lamb, another individual who we have seen go quite far in these brackets, both on uh, winner's and loser's side. Acellus making this look like an easy feat. It's uh and it really is not. <laughs> okay, I know it's Pichu. I know it's Pichu. I know this is the self-damage character, but I'm not going to say that this is winnable yet. If Lamb can get the KO like now, then it's winnable. Because taking two stocks of Pichu is not impossible if the, if your stocks are clean. It's not I'm still hesitant to say that this is a winnable game for Lamb. Because this, the percents are not friendly. Um, but, you know, Pichu has made miracles before and can make them happen again. Oh, yeah, three swings of the 11 sword, though, and that easily becomes a thing that uh, you can't really say anymore. So, yeah. That's the. Uh, therein lies the rub. Good read on the landing there. The F smash. Acela setting them right up for it. Back air is going to mix them up just a little bit as well. You're getting put into the blender. Text it. Well done by Acellus, but misses on the recovery. And now we're done. I'm still not going to say it. I'm still not going to say it because, like, Lamb has Lamb has found themselves in don't get hit percent. Yeah. Um, and that's really scary against Robin. Oh, no, like, now are. they're really in don't get hit percent. Okay. So that is, uh, that is Acellus taking game one. Um, yeah, sure was, but I mean, it's uh, Acellus making that look. I mean, it, it wound up getting a little sketchy at the end, but that's just the nature of P of uh, Pichu, is that even your attacks are going to do a little bit of damage. It's it's pennies, don't get me wrong, but yeah, even a hundred pennies are going to wind up making a dollar eventually, and that's when you got to pay up. So that's an issue for uh, any Pichu, and you're just running out of real estate you're already one of the lightest characters in the game when you mix that with the leaven sword it's going to be bad news for you so my question is though uh we have seen a lot of robins come through and do very well in these brackets when wi-fi was starting up we saw jewel show out obviously but yeah. then you know the uh the ascension of these robins when we're talking about people like uh like angel who we've seen do pretty well in these things and uh, Amaryllis, obviously, who's been uh, quite, who's been quite prominent alongside uh, their Bayo, just kind of co-maining these uh, these two. We're going to see with the switches for game number two, and actually, an Isabel is going to come out. Interesting counter pick. My question is, though, I don't really see, uh, I don't see them doing all that well compared 
to uh, compare it to Pichu simply because of how much the Animal Crossing characters tend to struggle against swords in general. Yes, uh, I mean, Robin, I, I, I can't disagree with you. Um, this is, if, if Acellus is able to play their game, then uh, Lamb is not going to have as easy of a time as Pichu would have in finding the hits and finding the hits that matter. But uh, one thing that is worth pointing out is that this is not just a sword character. This is a sword and a magic character. And the neutral B from the from Isabel could end up being really, really pivotal. Yeah, something couldn't be said about that. And it's uh, the slingshots maybe getting... Ooh, good catch with Ooh. the side B. I, yeah, no, you got to respect it. That hit grab is... Uh, it's something that when it when it does connect when it does register it's pretty decent and that's how you're using a slingshot you can't even dictate movement all that much but it is good to follow up on things and continue on uh continue on the combination or really just finish off a quick little string i sell it, uh, answering yeah. right back um yeah well okay, done so there's part. the pocket and now we're gonna have to see what can Isabel make happen if she's able to land this arc, uh, arc thunder. Arc thunder? Arc thunder. Yeah. Nothing, but it is stage control. And I really, say, that's the that's the name of the game. Is that you have to be able to move around the stage in general. That is the uh, that's the thing with any platform brawler, obviously. So if you yeah. control most of the stage, you're limiting movement options and. Certainly, you are free to go up and out of the blast zone at your leisure, uh, Lamb, at least off affording that luxury. It's not one that Acellus certainly appreciates right about now, however. Good and now, combos, too. Yeah, we're seeing some of the real strength unique to Isabel with these really, uh, these up tilt strings, can, like, uh, extended with the neutral air. Um, that's really, really valuable damage getting onto uh, Lamb's fa final stock. Because you look down to the socks, it, I almost would have forgotten, but... Lanzo has another stock to play with here. And now that's going to be a re-grab. Oh, but using the get-up attack to get through the down smash, that was a really, really smart recovery there from Lamb. Yeah, looking for the uh, looking for the hit grab yet again. Nothing biting on the line that time, but it's going to be the up. Really, the uh, the gyroid. Yeah, it's going to rocket. kill on that. Catching the landing. And uh, that is, uh, you think about Robin so much as like the tactics character and the like that has a plan and all the positioning and all that stuff, blah, 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 blah. Isabel is the mayor's assistant for the most useless mayor in the entire world since Rudy Giuliani. So like yep. you think about how much <laughs> mental ex effort Isabel has to exert on a, on a daily basis. This is somebody who knows how to get how to get stuff done, and I, I didn't want to say stuff, but that is the uh, that is what you're dealing with. The mayor's not scary; it's the mayor's assistant that's scary. Yeah, no, they're the one they're the ones who pull the strings, right? So yeah, uh, yeah. quite literally on that slingshot, and that was uh, one of the things that I wanted to touch on is that they were getting quite a lot of follow ups, especially just lining it right up at platform height, realizing that they were going to stay there. Just keep them in the air, make sure that they're right at slingshot height, and continue on carrying them across the stage. Acellus really didn't have a whole lot of an answer for that, specifically because, yeah, obviously, some of Robin's moves take a little bit to start up, but they really didn't have a get-off-me option to keep Isabel, well, off of them. And Isabel does have some pretty good get-off-me options. You saw the second stock from that game, Isabel taking it with the up smash. You have to worry about up smash, you have to worry about Nair, so it's um, Isabel or uh, Robin may ha, like may wind up feeling a little bit more pressured up close than Isabel does here, um, and it's uh, there's a pretty pretty convincing response from from Lamb, and we're gonna have to see what Acellus can bring to the table to maybe uh, find themselves into winners finals, and this is a like. If there ever was a bracket where you want to be in winner side grands, this is the bracket. Because you don't have to fight through any of the top seeds. They're all going to kill each other in losers. And you only have to take one set against them. 
So this is like this game right here is so pivotal to keep themselves on track. So now it's going to be game number three. They have to play around this Isabel that, uh, I mean, if you've played in some of these brackets, you've definitely had to run into an Isabel at some point or another, whether it's Mr. Zircon or certainly this pocket Isabel of Lambs, who we have seen before, I mean, if uh, ever so slightly, as we're going to Pokemon Stadium for this game number three. I kind of like this pick, honestly, Clam Hat. It's a stage. Yeah, it's it's uh, Robin needs space, um, and this is uh, we we talked about feeling pressured. At least there's more space to like like get away, so that Isabel isn't always going to be up on you. Which Isabel doesn't necessarily want to be always up on her opponent. Isabel has tools like the the um, the down B rocket and the the slingshot and all that stuff. We we've, we've hashed it out already. Um, but Robin definitely needs the breathing room. And both characters really playing at distance here. <laughs> Perfect lineup for the uh, for the dash attack. That yep. pot falling heavy. We were talking about plant uh, piranha plants' weight values and uh, just how heavy ceramics can be. So yeah. just imagine that falling on your head from a ledge. But yeah, just imagine falling into that smash attack from Acellus, who's going to draw first blood in this rubber match. And you, by the way, you don't have to imagine Isabel throwing a piranha plant because you can own that image on a t-shirt, which Beautiful. is created by our very own, our, our, our very own shirt. By the shirt, by the way. By but the um, Acellus really, uh, Acellus getting a lead is really, really huge. Um, uh, because forcing Isabel to come to you, uh, we talked about how uh, um, Robin may not be able to escape pressure terribly well, but um, Isabel is also not the most effective at applying that pressure. So, I mean, Isabel isn't accomplish anything, isn't accomplishing anything if she's just sitting, sitting back and throwing, uh, throwing her slingshots out. Um, so, and that is valuable time that Robin can be using to charge up the, the, the neutral B and lay down the arc fire and all that stuff. And that damage is really starting to pile up here. Yeah, and poking away with that F tilt as well, just trying to wear away at the uh, will of Acellus. They are still well in this. Those sitting at 86%, now 98. Yeah, it's uh, this is where the hope might run out because you are one clean hit with a back air away from uh, away from being down one full stock. Arc fire is going to eat away at the shield. Liam will have to drop it eventually and eat some damage. And this is uh. Yeah, Acellus can get in here, but I would think that Lamb's going to try to make themselves as much of a nuisance as possible. Try to establish that up-close gameplay, which is they're doing so successfully. Now here's where That'll Acellus needs to be careful and try not to drift in too much here, because that is exactly where Lamb's wheelhouse is going to be. That all started, that, like, 66%, I mean, it was like a 40% string that all started just because Lamb ran up and up tilted. That was, like, definitely catching Acellus sleeping. Um... The, the down smash edge guard from Acellus has not been there this set, um, but it's the percent lead is there for Acellus. Uh, but even stocks is even stocks means that Lamb is perfectly content to stay at distance. And now, okay, that was an interesting interaction catching the the Levin Sword with the fishing rod. Uh, nothing coming off of it. But look at these percents. This is totally even. Lamb has totally brought this back, and now. Uh, with that side, with that uh, side B grab, uh, it's starting to look a little bit scarier and scarier for a Celis. And now, how do you solve that puzzle of a ledge trap? That's going to be another kill. And now Lamb's sitting with a stock lead. So the answer is that you don't. Basically. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, I mean, I haven't. I, I've never solved that puzzle before. Yeah, it's uh, it's a tricky one to be fair, especially when you talk about the heat of the moment. Pop quiz, Hotshot, what do you do about it? Well, it's easier, uh, it's a little bit easier when you have 11 sword in your hand, admittedly. But, yeah, one stock a piece, and we are about even. It's one to settle it, and that Arca uh, and that Thunder getting pocketed could loom large if you need it to snipe from distance. To be perfectly honest, I totally, like, I totally spaced out the last couple, the last, like, 20 seconds, because you said heat of the moment, and I just got distracted thinking about Asia. Yeah, um, fair enough. I never meant to be so bad to you, Clayman. Oh my god. 
Stu, you can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. <laughs> anyway, I, my, my, I had to like physically restrain myself from going over and playing those opening chords. Um, they are pretty good. They're very tempting. And what is tempting is running in on that shield. Estella's finding the shield grab. And another grab. Holding uh, Estella's responding back. And getting the stage spike. And it happens so quickly. In the blink of an eye. Uh, Estella's able to find that game three victory. Lamb not finding the tech. And Estella's has found their way into winner's side finals. Through those arc fires and certainly that finishing of the L wind is the heat of the moment shown in Encelus's eyes as they are going to move